hi YouTube I just want to show you what was going on right now you can see it's uh, continuing to update my music it's going through that now it's putting the music on my iPad let me show you over here where the iPad says sync in progress and after it goes through all this then I'll no longer have my jailbreak I'll have to go back in to jailbreakme.com and do my jailbreak over but I'll show you guys that too so stay tuned for that alright guys we're back at uh, I've got my iPad restored through iTunes it's back to its original state like it was from the factory it does not have Cydia on it at the moment I'm going to show you how simple it is to do that all you need to do is go to Google type in jailbreak me the first selection jailbreak me 3.0 it'll open up a little uh, jailbreak me website and it'll open up a uh, web page that, that looks something like the uh, applications do in the city store. Right here under where it says free, you'll need to tap that once, twice. If you do it correctly anyway, you only have to tap it twice. And it'll start loading Cydia up right here. You can see it loading it on the screen and once Cydia is loaded back up if you are like me and you have package backup now all I'll have to do is go back in open up my last restore and I can restore all of my Cydia apps with one tap of the screen and I won't have to download them all one at a time but since I'm having so many problems I'm, pr I'm not going to do that what I'm going to do is start a new restore if you want to call it that and once I get everything like I want it with the 8 or 10 apps running that I suggest and they'll be in the description also and they're on my website iphonecaptain.com as well if you want to check it out there's a whole lot of good information there um, I'll probably do a restore after I get everything like I want it. That way I'll know that I can restore to that restoration if I need to in the future. So hopefully by watching this video you've learned how to restore and some of the things you need to do and don't need to do with iPad 2 jailbreak. So come over to iPhoneCaptain.com. Thanks for watching. Hey YouTube, I wanted to share some of the, my problems with you today. Maybe it'll help some of you out there and not have to go through this same problem. But uh, I recently jailbroke my iPad 2 and it seems like everything I download from Cydia puts it into a uh, what they refer to as an Apple loop. And, in a, and then you have to go back in and you have to do it all over again. So just to share my grief with everybody out there I'm going to show you how if this happens to you how you can restore your device uh, it's not an easy process by no means there's a whole lot you have to do and it's a time consuming ordeal as you can see um, first thing you got to do is put your device in DFU mode if you don't know how to do that check it out on the internet it's pretty simple all you do is hold your home key and your power button 10 times 10 seconds mash them both down and hold them simultaneously for 10 seconds then you release the home key and continue I'm sorry you release the power key and continue the home key for 10 seconds and then you release the home key let me try that again you mash down the home and the power 
keys at the same time. You count to ten. Then you can then you release the home key. I'm sorry. Then you release the power key. Continue to the home key for 10 seconds I'll put it in the description anyway once you get iTunes to come open um, you see what you come up with right here iTunes has detected a iPad and recovery mode you just you're just gonna have to click OK then when that comes up you're gonna have to hold down shift on the key on the uh, keyboard shift or I think it's uh, maybe something uh, alt key or something on the Mac it's shift on Windows shift and if you click your mouse on the restore button and you can see I've already got it coming open to where I have my firmware already downloaded you have to have already downloaded your 4.3.3 firmware and then you just simply click and open that and you click restore and it'll start its process and I'll check back with you in a few minutes when it finishes this